good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for another edition of Medina Minute. This morning we're going to have a chat with Barbara Deserve from the city of Medina. Barbara, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. So you you have been in Medina, you have some history here. Like forever. Like forever. <laughs> forever. How did you, where, where are you from? How did you end up in this town? I was born here. Oh, I didn't realize Actually, that. I was born in Wadsworth. Okay. Um, my family lived in Granger. Um, my relatives, the 1800 relatives, were in Brunswick and Weymouth. Okay. And then Granger. And so I uh, grew up in Granger, graduated from Highland High School. Oh. So I've come about four miles. I thought you were an import <laughs> by marriage. No. Good for you. No, no, no. Good for you. I imported him. <laughs> well <So>. done. <laughs> I didn't realize that. So I'm curious, in, in, in your, your brief time here in the area, what are some of the major changes that you've noticed in the city? What has been the evolution of Medina or the area? Well, the, the obvious one is growth. You know, we, uh, I lived, I, my family home is still on Granger Road and you used to be able to play in the street. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that anymore. Not so much. So just the growth, the uh, yeah. residential, manufacturing, commercial. Has it been good growth? Please don't. Well, let's not go down. When I was a kid, there were no. <laughs> All right, so we won't go down that road. But when you were a kid playing in Granger Road, mm -hmm. what was, was it definitely more of a rural community? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we built our house on my grandfather's farm, which is now Berry Farms. Really? Yes. And he would be so pleased. He loved flowers. So do you get to go back once a year and work on the flower farm? I'm sure they let us they if we, we go back. <clears throat> we did. Okay. Yeah. So I know that you've had some amazing, wonderful careers in your time here. What are, what are some of the things that you've done? I don't, so what I'm leading up to is you've won several major awards for your accomplishment as a woman of Medina. What led up to that? Um, I, being old. <laughs> No. Um, no, you've gotten to do some really cool be, things and yeah, work for some great Having places. some great opportunities. Um, when I uh, came back here, um, I, came, I was in education. Okay. And I came back to Highland, came back to my alma mater. And then when the Career Center opened, I was invited to work there. And that was very exciting because that was... You know, brand new school, brand new opportunities mm -hmm. for, for the kids in the county, and um, really enjoyed that. Um, started out as a counselor, finished as an administrator, uh, cool. worked in both the adult division and the day school, so high school division. Yeah. Um, then I decided I would do other things and have um, kind of job hopped since okay. then was in the uh, first executive director for the Brunswick Chamber of Commerce, worked uh, for in Medina County Economic Development and then City Economic Development. My okay. first go-round at the city, I was the grants administrator and did e economic development. Okay. Um, did a, a several years in commercial real estate with the Gersbacher Real sure. Estate Group. Sure family owned, uh, operated, been here for years. So yeah. that was a wonderful experience. And now I'm back at the city in economic development. So you so can go home. You can go home. I am actually <coughs> in the same office that I was in before. So you can really go home. Again, I, I don't want to play on your time here, but what are some of the major changes you've seen at a city level? So I, you know, we we would come shopping on Saturday morning to the big city. Of when I was a child. So, what what are some of the stores you remember? What was your favorite place on the square? Um, gosh, I think it was Gensimer Shoes. Okay, I've and they that had one. one of those machines where you would step up and they, you could see the bones in your feet. Really? It, yes. And that, I'm sure it was terrible for you. I don't know if that's legal today. <laughs> I don't think it is. Um, oh, you know, drugstore, yeah. um, Isley's. Okay. There's an Isley's on the square, um, ice cream shop, theaters. 
Yeah. yeah. This was a bank. Okay. This was of my grandmother's <coughs> bank. Do you have a favorite building on the square? Is there something that when you drive into work in the morning, it just catches your eye? And I, I watch enough of your interviews that I thought, what if he asks me that? <laughs> I, I think my favorite one right now is Second Soul because right. it rose from the ashes, literally. Sure. And Jim Gow did such an amazing job in restoring that building. Yeah. And I just think it's the cutest I, little thing. <laughs> when, I think it was right about five years ago when we moved here, I think it was the night or the night after we moved, the fire happened. And it was kind of, mm -hmm. you know, the fire wasn't cool, but it was interesting then to hear more of the history of that building. Some people said it was part of the American Hotel, which was torn down in, in the 60s, I think. Yes. They weren't quite sure because the building had been changed so much, but I think over time, as Jim was redoing the building, it was definitely post and beam in an old building. When you have guests from out of town or people come to Medina or they're asking you, you know, Barbara, you know this town, what are the things I need to do? Where do I have to eat? Where do I have to <laughs> Why shop? did you ask me about eating? <laughs> You are the default food maven of town, just so you know. Who's, I'm sure you who's know. ahead of me? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody, okay. Well, actually, my daughter and I, about twice a year, do a Shop Medina Day. Yeah. We come in, she comes in, and we, we go to all the shops. We look at everything that's new. Uh, we eat. We, we <coughs> graze down, through downtown. Um, and I think that's what I do with, with anyone that came in for the first time. Yeah. You know, get a, get a, get a taste. Get a taste of what the town is all about. <laughs> I know that you're, you're very involved, certainly, with the Main Street Medina and a lot of other groups. What are some of your favorite things that happen on the square? Well, I love International Fest. Okay. Got to start with you on that when we when it was first starting so I think that's that might be my favorite event what do you do in your off time like when you just go home kick the shoes off and relax what, what are your what are your hobbies I read okay avid reader what do you like to read you mysteries yes. travel mysteries suspense yeah. uh, some biographies and then those books you're supposed to read what are books you're supposed to read? Well, like right now I'm like reading... Like The Seven People You Meet in Heaven and um, well, Three People? More economic development kind of thing. That's work stuff. Yeah. That's work yeah. stuff. Well, I'm reading right now, uh, finishing up Purple Cow. What is Purple, Purple Cow? Purple Cow is a book about how you need to distinguish your product. Okay. It needs to stand out from the herd. So. In that, what are some of your personal passions that, that you've gotten to fund or support? What's important to you? Well, I'm on the board for the Trinity Rose Foundation, which uh, Rich and Stacy Bonnets started when their daughter was born with this genetic um, eye problem, and she has very limited eyesight. And we raise money every year to give, um, either to give directly financial support for something, mm -hmm. or we purchase things that um, a young person needs to be more successful. Okay. Um, when we've helped, there's some amazing stories out there. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I, I know, did you help start Leadership Medina County or you were the was first on the, class? I was on the founding board. Okay. You no, know, I was on the founding board. Yeah. And when, how long has that organization been around? I think the first class was in 1991. And you're still involved with leadership. Right. How, how do you feel leadership in Medina County plays a role in the development of our community? I think it, it provides a wonderful education for people. They get to know the county. I thought I knew everything about the county when I went through it. You know, I would born and raised to. here. Right. Oh, no. I yeah. learned <clears throat> so much. And I think that um, that's what I see in people when they go through it today. Well, I didn't okay. know about that. Or what, what we are some had of the this things? amazing experience here. Sure. Oh, yeah. What are some, are some of the things that surprised you or, or surprised you today that you didn't know about the county? Um, I probably didn't know the, the agriculture community as well, although my grandfather sure. was a farmer, then he retired, so that 
you know, and when you're a kid, you just think it's great that he has cows and horses. Grandpa and has he tractors. Had a, he had a sugar bush. So I grew up a sugar bush. So I grew up making maple bush. syrup. Yeah. Hard work. Hard work. It is hard work. I, when I was growing up, my family, my father went through a whole Mother Earth news phase where we heated the house with a wood-burning stove. And it was horrible because it was cold, and he said, we're going to make maple syrup, so I did it for a science project. <laughs> That's work. You have to collect a lot of collect sap. Collect a lot of sap, stir <laughs> yeah. that stuff, cook it forever, and ultimately, I didn't like it. That was not my But favorite. if you hard boil your eggs in it and you cook your hot dogs in it, it's great. Hard boiled eggs in maple syrup. Sure. You have to eat while you're watching it. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'll have to pass that on to John here, see if you can add that to the menu. <laughs> Scottish eggs, yeah. we can have maple sugar eggs. What's, um, curious to that, we were, we were talking earlier in the day about how different nationalities and, and their ethnic or, or cultural celebrations have become kind of embraced by the Americans and it's any excuse to mm -hmm. celebrate something that most of us don't know anything about and drink a lot of something that may be from that country. What, what's your favorite holiday to celebrate? Oh, Christmas. Yeah? I think. What, what about Christmas means the most to you? Um, I think memory as a kid. And then trying yeah. to make memories for, you know, Heidi and things that what we she will like remember. In, what was Christmas like in Medina? It wasn't as nice as it is now. They didn't decorate like they did. It was, you know, I, I, that's but, one of the things that, as we work in Candlelight Walk, we thought about doing. You know, kind of a vintage Christmas. And the more we researched, we really couldn't find much about I Christmas in Medina. Did Did Ziegler's have Santa Claus, or did everyone go to? Cleveland or Akron to see Santa went Claus? To, uh, we went to Akron. Okay. We would go to Akron to, um, to see the window displays. They were all animated. <laughs> now you just have to walk down the street and you can see those same yeah, displays. It's, true, true. it's wonderful. I'm curious, when you were growing up as a very young child, were the trolleys still running? The trolleys up to Cleveland? Or down to Chippewa? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. No, I don't think so. Interesting. Um, I did work at Chippewa Lake. Did you? When it was still open. What did you do there? I was a barmaid in the dance hall. <coughs> yeah? Yeah. And Almost then they had a restaurant. Place. And they had a restaurant, and I worked in the restaurant. Okay. Sunset Dining Room, I think it was called. Nice. It was right on the lake. Is that why you're so fond of working on the beer fest? Because it's a little bit of, of <laughs> it's like history. I have for this you. hidden skill. I can carry eight beer bottles in one hand wrapped with a towel. <laughs> well, Barbara, thank you so much. It's, it's been a pleasure reminiscing with you and hearing some of your background and thoughts. Um, I look forward to working with you. And uh, thanks again. I appreciate it.